Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see all about operation of an PNP. Guys, I hope if everyone saw the previous tutorial. We have just gone through operation of NP and I have just explained you really, really clearly. If you didn't watch it, please go back guys. It's a request from my side. Please go back and watch it and come back again so that we can continue our lectures with a hundred percent clarity. Okay. So basically I have told you that always a transistor should be run or attain the active region guys should be kept in the active region. So active region is nothing but in for in input we apply forward bias in output we apply reverse bias. So in between the first P N we will be applying the forward bias P to P N to N and on the second junction we will be applying N to P and P to N. So that is nothing but reverse bias. So that's how we just draw the diagram. The first will be the emitter, second will be the base, third will be the collector. Okay, I hope everyone is now 100% clear with it. So now let us further continue our discussion guys. Okay, so basically a forward bias is applied to emitter base junction. Yeah, okay, that's correct. Of the P and P transistor causing a lot of holes to move from emitter region to cross over the base. Yeah. Similarly, a small current is produced IB and the rest current IC. So, as if I have just told you in the previous tutorial that here in this situation, in the previous situation, electrons moved, right? So, here the holes start move from here. So, once they reach the end, this uh, base junction, base part, so there are very few number of electrons. So, few of them combine with them to small, to form a small current, guys, that is IB. Plus and once they reach here, here also they start trying to recombine and they also form some amount of current that is IC. So basically I is nothing but this. So now we have just completed the discussion of operation of PNP and NPN. Okay, so basically the equation is nothing but that I have just written here is the fundamental equation. Okay guys, so now I hope everyone is now 100% clear with the operation of NPN and PNP. In the next tutorial we will be going through large signal current gain. Thank you. Thanks for watching.